A month ago, I released Adjustment Plus for Final Cut Pro, which set out to completely change the way we work with adjustment layers inside of Final Cut. I'm super excited to announce version 1.1 is now available to download. So what's new in Adjustment Plus? The first feature is I've added a hue dial. So you can go ahead and adjust the hue over your entire video if you should so desire. You can also, of course, add keyframes to that if you want to. Additionally, I've added a saturation slider. So if you wanna add saturation over the entire duration of your project, very simple to do right here. The next feature is likely my most highly requested, and that was to extend the duration of the letterbox animation. Due to how I had to build this out in the back end, it has slightly adjusted the way you might wanna work with these animations. Previously, it only went to a one second duration and you knew that it was going to be exactly one second when you set it to that second value. That said, things are a little bit different now because it can change based off the duration of the adjustment layer. So for example, my default adjustment layer is 10 seconds. So if we leave it at 10 seconds, an animation speed of 30 will take about one second. Or if I were to drag this all the way to 100, it's going to be around 3.3 seconds. It is a bit of an arbitrary value, so you're just gonna need to experiment a little bit if you want the animations to take place in your project. From there, I can change the animation type. Right now it says animate letterbox with no animation. We can go ahead and just set this to ease in and ease out. But of course, we need to apply a letterbox type. And so that is where one of the next updates comes into play. We now have access to a four by three and a one by one option. So I'll set this to four by three and if we push play, we can see the animation taking place in a really nice way. But let's say I set this back to 30. We can go ahead and push play, see that that takes about a second. And now if I were to extend out the duration of this adjustment layer and push play, you'll notice that the animation is much slower. Unfortunately, this is the best method for me to give you access to much longer animation periods with the adjustment layer. Hopefully this works to everybody's benefit in the end, but I just wanted to give you a quick heads up of how you might need to change the way you're working with these animations. Also as a side note, this might slightly adjust previous projects that were using the adjustment layer because that one second value is no longer going to be consistent. So if you jump to an older project, you might wanna just double check those animation speeds. Next on the list has to do with my horizon guide. Now originally with my horizon guide, I was so excited because it enabled the ability to have an invisible horizon guide that would not get rendered should you accidentally leave it enabled. So we have our horizon guide. We can see that line right here. We can see that we're a little bit off, but if I went to rotate my video, you'll notice that that horizon guide disappears. There were some very kind users who let me know that that was kind of a dumb idea on my part. So in this update, I have addressed all of those issues. The first feature that can address this issue is my new quick rotate slider. You'll see that option right here under the guide rotation. And if I drag this over to the right, you'll notice that we start rotating to the right and we can straighten things out. Another feature you'll notice is that it's auto scaled up my video project. So this can be super handy. That way you don't have to go in and scale things so that you don't have any black edges in the corner. That said, if you don't want that feature, all you need to do is just check rotation only and now it will only rotate your video. So that's one handy feature, but another handy feature is the ability to check this show line. So now if you want to, you can render out this line, you can add some width to it, you can adjust the opacity on it if you need to. So that can be handy and then you can jump to the lower video projects and rotate them as needed. Now you might notice a significant issue with this quick rotate. And that is that because this is an adjustment layer, this quick rotate is going to apply to every single shot. And so that's kind of annoying and kind of negates the whole purpose of this horizon guide thing. So I've gone ahead and published the entire adjustment layer title as an effect inside the Final Cut Pro. So you don't just have the adjustment layer title, you now also have an effect version. Now that might seem a little bit redundant, but let me show you a few reasons why this is so helpful. Jumping on over into our effects, we can see adjustment plus here, and I can apply that in. And now I have full access to all of the same controls 
that were found in the adjustment layers. That means you get access to stuff like the better sharpening tools, or you have the simple noise filter. You even have access to all of the letterboxing. And what's really cool is now you can apply this effect onto older adjustment layers. So if you have a project from a year ago and you used an old adjustment layer, you can apply this on and now get access to adjustment plus, even though it's using an older adjustment layer. Another benefit is you can go in and save it as an effects preset. So let's say you always load in the exact same LUT. I'll use this one from my friend Brad West. Let's go ahead and do fire and ice. Maybe we always set the mix down to 55%. We lower the gamma on it. We add more contrast and we change all of our settings throughout the entire project. And we know that this is the exact way we like to have our adjustment effect. Now we can go in, select save effects preset call it whatever we want and throw it into whatever category we like. I'll just save it into adjustment layer and push save. And so now at any time, if I ever want to apply this to another project, we can go ahead and just apply it just like so. And all of those changes will happen for us. But the last reason why you would want to use this as an effects version is because you do in fact get access to the quick rotate features while showing the horizon guide without affecting the underlying or surrounding clips. If this plugin is helpful to you in any way, please consider pressing that like button. It does dramatically help the channel. Also consider subscribing if you enjoy free plugins just like this. If you're interested in learning more about this Adjustment Plus plugin, then you might want to check out this video where I talk about all of the other amazing features that it comes with. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.